We're in the School of Fine Arts at the University of Connecticut. We started the camps two years ago when our dean, Dean Woods, had been out to UCLA and saw the camps there and heard rave reviews about U.S. performing arts and came back and said, I think we should be in touch with these folks. I think we should think about doing arts camps for high school students. We have two components to our music program here for the camps. We have both the jazz program and what we call the string boot camp. Our full-time faculty teach our students here at the camps. The jazz camp is, of course, all about jazz. And one of the real focuses of that camp is on improvisation, teaching these young musicians how to improvise and the structures that underlie improvisation. So again, this gives them something to take away as a foundation for their growth as musicians. If people are going, ding, 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 right, for forever, right? So every once in a while you want to interject a measure of four. So I direct the... Uh, uh, Premier jazz band, which is uh, you know a big band typically, run a couple of combos, and uh, teach improvisation, jazz arranging, coordinate the whole program. As far as the camp goes, I'm the camp director, so I take care of the administrative aspects of the jazz portion of, of the performing arts camp. This past year in 2006, Earl received an award from our uh, faculty union, the American Association of University Professors, for teaching innovation. So he's been recognized on campus as a very innovative, very high quality teacher, and so he brings all of that to the camp, and I'm so excited that he can share that with young people. I'm in a band called Drive A. We play like mainstream punk rock. I wanted to learn a bunch of different styles so that I could just kind of make my sound a little more exciting. I've been playing jazz for a while, like five years, and so I just wanted to be able to like expand. And this week has been great, just you learn so much in four days. I think I've grown immensely. Tell me about said music. Well, <laughs> said music, said music like it, it's known as jazz, sometimes jazz. Jazz? <laughs> um, it originated from, like, around the, ni <laughs> the 1920s. It was like the 1920s and stuff, got in bebop and all that, all that jazz, <laughs> you know? Isn't that bebop. funny? They love bebop. Bebop! Oh, bebop. Oh, bebop. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Okay, cut. Tell me which vehicle did you take to camp? Um, I took an airplane. And aeroplane. what is an aeroplane? Yeah. It's a vehicle from Oklahoma. It's a vehicular object. Okay, vehicular object. Vehicle. I've learned how to rap. One, two, three, four. Blow your, your plane! plane. What is that in my mouth? What if he could be turned to the dog? And the string boot camp, uh, the focus is, is really on raising the level of play of the students uh, so that they come to work very intensively no matter what level they come in with. Our promise is that they will be better. It's too dry. I mean, it doesn't matter how good the sound is. It's not projecting as much in the gut because you have no energy coming from inside you. There's a reason we call it boot camp. It's pretty intensive. It is um, a combination of performance classes, master classes, individual practice sessions, chamber music, large ensemble. Peter Sacco is a wonderful conductor. He's associate professor of music here at the university, and he is a very, very well-known conductor and uh, festival orchestra organizer. Um, he does a great job with our orchestra on campus. He's the conductor of our campus orchestra. We really try to get the kids to focus in and find out how they can improve their practicing and how they can get better. So at the end of the week we end up doing a, a, a performance which consists of every group playing a little bit. and. Uh, so we try and vary the program and uh, you know showcase what it is that the kids have learned. You know, by they all take a uh, shot at improvising. The performance is a works in progress. P pieces that we put together that are not final, finished, polished performances, but are uh, pieces that we 
feel the kids are capable of doing publicly, but have a, a ways to go to really get to that final stage. In honor of uh, Mozart's 250th birthday, we thought we would do an entire first half of our program, at least, with the music of Mozart. <laughs> Turns out great, you know. It's a, it's a crowd favorite. Great to see what they've been working on so hard during the week, um, and there's a, just a great sense of celebration to it. Mm-hmm.